Today I am showing you my weekly reset routine. It's Sunday when I'm filming this. The house is a hot mess. We had like my mom's Christmas get together yesterday, so there's toys everywhere. Um, I just have a lot to clean, but before I start cleaning, I wanna make a couple of things that I'm uh, planning to make for the week. So I'm just making some fresh gluten-free bread, chili in the crock pot, as well as corn muffins. So I'm gonna do that first, just so that I don't you know, have to clean up again. Just like clean up everything all at once. Also, if you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beesons. I'm a mom of four. I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. All types of homemaking, cleaning, organizing, cooking, meal prep, decorating, a little bit of everything thrown in here. Um, so be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it does really help my channel. But let's get started with some cooking. You can hear the kids are in the basement being kind of nuts and the baby is taking a nap right now. So I gotta try to get as much done as I can in this period of time. So the first thing I'm doing is continuing to make a mess. I'm making gluten-free bread. This bread maker is amazing. I had to redo this voiceover because I told you guys that I got this bread maker from Bath & Body Works, which is hilarious because I always call Bed Bath & Beyond Bath & Body Works. I don't know why, but anyway, the bread maker is from Bed Bath & Beyond, and you can also get it on Amazon. It has a gluten-free option on there, which is amazing. So. I'll link that down below and let me know if you like how I put the recipe on screen there for you to screenshot it. It took a little bit of extra effort, but if it's easier for you, I will definitely continue to do that. So please let me know. So all you do is add all your ingredients in so incredibly easy. Hit the button that you want for your bread. I'm hitting gluten free and in two hours you have delicious gluten free bread. So continuing on our messy journey. Ella is making corn muffins. She literally made these all by herself with my supervision. This is the first recipe that she's actually made the entire thing by herself down to being able to scoop it into the mini muffin tins, which is hard for kids with their little hands and they're still getting like their hand muscles. So I was really impressed. She wanted to continue to do it herself. I was not allowed to help. Okay, so like I said, we had Christmas at my mom's house the day before, so they wanted to do like all of the crafts and stuff that they got from there, but I had also done these ornaments with them a while ago. They were from Target Dollar Spot, um, but they took a while to dry, so I was like, you know what, while we're making a mess, you guys can go ahead and paint your handprint ornament. So that's what they're doing while I'm doing all of this. Okay, so I am going to saute my yellow onion. I'm gonna put the chili recipe on screen here as well, but I'm just starting off with sauteing this with a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna add in some ground chicken. I definitely recommend using ground turkey. I had already ordered groceries this day and was just waiting for them to come, but I did already have ground chicken on hand, so that's what I'm using, but turkey is just so much better in this recipe in my opinion. Okay, so now they are digging out their fossils. They love this stuff. Tanner also is a big fan of those dinosaur smasher eggs. They have like a slime in there. They have to dig out little parts of the dinosaur from the slime and some in fossils. It's a huge mess, but it's his favorite. Um, so my only rule is if we're doing messy play, we're doing it all at the same time. So if we're doing kinetic sand or we're doing whatever, let's do it at the same time and then clean up because I'm not cleaning up twice. A lot of times this is how life is in the winter. We do lots of crafts and all of that stuff since it's so cold outside. 
definitely in the summer we love being outside and making messes out there with sand and water and all of that um, so I'm not the mom that says no messes I'm the mom that says let's make that mess at once so that I can clean it up so chilies in the crock pot corn muffins are done I had to make sure the kids saved a couple to eat with our chili because we all love to crumble them up and put it into our chili but they were delicious here is the aftermath of the 10,000 snacks that were served this day and uh, you know just a messy play which is obviously very good for them so they're done their messy play and I'm just starting off by throwing some things in the garbage and then I'm gonna clean the stuff off the floor and go from there So I'm not going like full out scrubbing everything down right now. I'm just throwing away the mess and just wiping off some stuff like the pee and the dust from the fossil thing and all of that. But later on, once we're done eating for the night and all of that is when I'm actually going to scrub the kitchen down. But right now I'm just making it livable. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. From your hands and your body, it hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet over my. Okay, so our groceries are here. I feel like I do a grocery haul in like every single video, so I'm just gonna quickly show you what we got. This is our giant order. And we didn't need too much because I recently went to Aldi, but I needed a couple of things just to make sure we had snacks for school and things for our lunches for the week ahead. So our bread is done. Look how delicious this looks. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and let that rest on our little baking rack here. And then I am going to organize the freezer because it was driving me crazy. It's really hard to film in here because it's a smaller spot and the light just throws it off. But just know it was a hot mess and I'm going to organize it and vacuum it out and make it look much better. Everything is all right. I wanna be with you. 
Now I'm just continuing to put some of our pantry stuff away and I will give you an overview at the end of the freezer um, because I, when I was like actually cleaning, I remembered that I never showed it. So I will show you what the freezer looks like in a little bit here, but first we're just putting away some of the groceries. So Chris unloaded the dishwasher while I was doing that. We usually do it right away in the morning, but we're a little bit slower on the weekends. So that's why it was later in the day when he unloaded it. And now I'm just reloading it and washing any other dishes. The sink is all nice and cleaned out and I wanted to show you how amazing this bread is. It's delicious every single time. The kids love to have it when it's still warm with some butter on it. So we had already eaten our chili and now I'm just saving the rest of it. We had two leftovers. Carter loves chili so he had it the following day for dinner. My heart is beating to your drum. And I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes Not thinking twice in my this down now that the dishes are done for the evening, I am cleaning out the sink. Our sink always gets so gross. I also wish somebody would have told me how high maintenance these sinks are. There's like little scrapes in the bottom, even with my metal racks to protect it. The, these sinks are incredibly high maintenance. It's like a porcelain sink. But anyway, I am using uh, some of the Thieves scrub with a little bit of dish soap and I always love to put lemon essential oil in my sink because I feel like it gets it nice and bright but it also makes it smell amazing so that's what I'm using on this My method here is basically cleaning all of the big things like the sink and the stove top and then I'm going to clean out the oven because it was pretty gross and yeah so I'm starting with that before I go ahead and clean off the counters and everything because I just feel like this way makes the most sense. Can't help my 
Just being honest here, my oven gets no love. I mean, it gets cooked in all the time. I barely ever clean this thing, so I'm like, we need to clean this out. And it's so easy to clean, like literally just spray it. I always think it has to be like this big process where I have to scrub it for 14 hours, but truly you can just wipe it down like you wipe down anything else. That's what I'm doing now. You'll also see me using a magic eraser on the actual door because one of my favorite things is that whenever I'm baking the kids like a yummy treat or a dinner they're excited about, they turn, they come over and they turn the light on in the oven and just stare at it and I think it's the cutest thing in the world. So I would like them to be able to see in the oven. Every time I clean the oven, I love to ask who actually uses the self-clean option. I tried it once in my old house and it smelled like the house was on fire for like four days, so never tried it again, but some people swear by that method. To me it was clear that you lied to me No, I keep thinking Was I wasting my time Letting you into my life now the microwave gets cleaned a lot more often because I usually explode different items in there so it needs to be cleaned. I just quickly wiped down our little cover in there and I'm wiping it down with some thieves cleaner but it wasn't too bad because I already exploded butter in it earlier today and had to clean it. What was it all for? I don't know you anymore. Finally, just wiping down the fridge and giving that some love. The part that gets the most gross on the fridge, of course, is the handles from the kids constantly opening it. Um, but mostly where the water comes out, that part gets really gross on your fridge. So make sure you clean that. A lot of times it's hard to see. You really got to look under there, but it gets yucky. Alright, so here's the inside of the fridge. I did like one part up top that was like our carbs basically. The other part is all of our frozen fruit for smoothies. We have some ice packs over here and then our protein. And then in the door here you can see all the ice packs that I use for the kids lunches. So I was just so happy with how nice and organized that is. Hopefully it stays this way. Then I'm like, wait, I need to put some essential oils in the diffuser. Like that's my favorite part of like having the house clean. I usually put it on earlier, but I just was in the mindset of cooking and cleaning, but this is a new collection that just came out from Young Living. They're basically like pre-made scents, and this one is Winter Spa. They all smell really amazing. The other one is Pink Champagne, and then they have Candy Cane. They're all 
It's supposed to kind of like resemble candles, but you know, obviously be way healthier for you. So finally, I am scrubbing down these chairs. I don't do this as much as I should. I always wipe them down, but sometimes I need a good like handheld scrub brush just to get in all those little creases. You can't really tell here, but they're like woven chairs, so things get in between, but they usually come out pretty easy with a little scrubbing. Also to clean these, I'm just using hot soapy water at first. Now that I'm done scrubbing them, I'm just using some of the Thieves Cleaner to wipe them down. And then I'm going to show you how I make a new batch because I used it all. Uh, I only use Thieves Cleaner and I've been using that for years now. It just doesn't bother my family at all. It doesn't give me a headache. I love it and it does a good job. So this one I'm making a little bit stronger because I feel like the house just really needed some extra love. So I'm using two capfuls of Thieves Cleaner in a 16 ounce bottle of warm water. And then I'm adding 10 drops of pine and 10 drops of lemon just because that's what I was wanting today. Um, so you'll see that here in a second. So finally we are almost in the home stretch here. I am wiping everything down. You can't see but there's lots of like hard crusty things all over the kitchen just from our busy weekend that we had. So I'm using a hot cloth first and then I'll go ahead and clean that with my thieves spray as well. Okay, so I have been craving this part of our cleanup all day. This is the Tinico. I don't ever know if I'm saying it right, but it's like basically a vacuum and a mop and it's amazing. The best part is you start out with fresh clean water with some of the solution inside and when you empty it out, it's absolutely atrocious. So it's really satisfying. Don't worry, I'll show you that crusty water at the end here. But right now I'm just doing that. And then I'm moving on to the living room. The first thing I have to do in the living room is just pick up all of the toys. There's some days, I always say this, some days where I'm like, all right, kids, pick up the toys. And there's some days where I'm like, all right, kids, bath and bed. I'll take care of it because you just need to get your butt to bed. So this is one of those days where I picked up for them.
Okay, so now that the toys are picked up, I had to summon Chris downstairs to help me with this couch. You wouldn't believe the amount of stuff that was underneath of it. Here is the vacuum before, and I will show you the after of that as well. This is a new plug-in vacuum that I got from Sam's Club, and it's next level amazing. I love the cordless vacuum because of how easy it is, but the amount that the plug-in vacuums get up compared to like the stick vacuum is unreal. Like this cleans so much better. I've cleaned it with the stick vacuum and then cleaned with this after and it still gets so much up. So if you watch my videos before, you know I usually use the stick vacuum, just throw it up on the couch, but obviously this is too heavy, so I'm using this attachment, which I love too. It's just really awkward, as you can see here, um, but it does the job. Side note is I love this couch. I got it a couple of months ago. It's much bigger than my old couch, but it's so comfortable. It's insane. I just, I love it. I love the color. I love everything about it. So I will link that down below. It does have removable covers so that you can wash them, which was a big deal for me, but I haven't done it yet. So stay tuned for an update on that. I think when I do my video of undecorating, I might wash the covers. If not, I'll use like the little green machine on them because there are like a couple of Cheeto fingerprints here and there. All right, so now Chris is trying to use the robot vacuum on the ottoman here. At first, he had to clean it out. You saw how much was in there. I think a lot of this fuzz comes from the blankets, um, but yeah, he was determined to have this run on here. So instead of just quickly vacuuming it, he sat here and did this because he's Chris. Okay, and to end this cleaning, I'm just mopping over in this area, and then I'll go ahead and show you both the vacuum and the mop and an overview of our nice clean house. Um, it lasted all while we were sleeping and the next morning we're doing it all over again.
So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you on Sunday for our new winter morning routine. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. i